from the callings I used to be. I love to take people by surprise. Jane Collins here has been telling me the beautiful plans he has for both of you mm -hmm. when you go back to America. <laughs> yes, that is where we will be having our wedding. Coming soon. Collins, please. What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry, okay? I totally forgot you don't like talking about it. You never change. Why should I? That's one of the threats that makes me a lively guy. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Not at all. You're always proud of yourself. Mm. The beautiful one, I came to take you out. I want us to go and have a lunch. What do you think? I I'm so sorry. I have a place to go. Come on, Jane. It's been ages you guys saw each other. Why not give our friend here some minutes of your time today? Just today. I don't think he's asking for too much. But... Um, please. The prin my princess, please, okay? I just want to take you out so that um, all the guys who envy me, mm, please. Place to go to the I, I never really knew that you you could still find your way to my office. It's amazing. Oh yes, it's been a while. You see, and I know you're a very busy man. You hardly keep contact with your old friends. Ah, that. He must forgive me. The problem? Yes, that's one dark side of me. I must work on. Okay? <laughs> Prof, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm glad you came. Yes. Now, high school. School is fine. We are fully in charge. <laughs> I guess you must be always the marshal. The VC. <laughs> and I hope you are still keeping eyes on my Kids. Yes, we are taking charge there. Mm. Uh, I came in in respect of that. I see. Uh, let's see. I see. There is something disturbing that I need to tell you about the news that you maybe you wouldn't like concerning your son, Kenichi.
You've been moody since you spotted that dude. Ignoring me in my presence. What is going on? Jane. Who is that guy to you? Huh? I hope he's not someone I should be worried about. I'm talking to you, Jane. Answer me. Collins, please. Please. Just let me be. Jane, you've been saying this for years. Eh? I'd, I do not want to take it anymore. I came all the way from the States because of you. I want to make you my wife. Oh, yes. I know there are other girls there that wanted me, but I do not care. You are the one that my heart yearns for. I've established businesses, even over there in... And I still want to set up one or two in Nigeria here, just to make you comfortable. Because your comfort is my priority. As my wife, you enjoy me. Eh? What is the issue? What is the issue? I'm still wondering why you haven't been taking my calls. I have been calling you. Baby, I'm talking to you. Are you going to keep asking me like you don't know why? Huh? No, tell me you don't know. Tell me you don't know. I know where you're headed, but to tell you the truth, there is nothing behind it. Nothing. Really? Yes. Nothing behind it. And I'm supposed to believe that. Huh? Like, 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 like I'm a child, right? I should just believe anything you're telling me. Come on. Please, come on. I'm not a child. Okay, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm an adult. I mean, that... Listen, if you want to be with that guy, just let me know. It's obvious. Okay, fine. It, it's, we're not of the same class. Okay? He's a rich guy from a wealthy home. Probably studied abroad or something. He's the kind of person you should be with. I'm a poor guy who's just trying to make something out of my life. You want to be with him? Let me know. Baby. Tell me to my face. Let me go. Baby. Okay, it's simple. I'll just go. Stop it. Don't make me look stupid. Stop it. What is wrong with you? What are you saying? What do you think of me? Did I, did I not see him before I chose you? Come on. Listen, babe. I really love you. I have nothing with him. Absolutely nothing at all. I'm sorry for everything that happened. But to tell you the truth, my dear, there is nothing between us. You know I love you. And I will continue to love you forever. Baby, come on. I love you too. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can I Kennedy, was that why I sent you to school? To go join some cult group? Dad. Dad, I don't know what you're saying. I don't belong to any cult group. Shut up. I said shut up! So your vice chancellor is now making up stories about you, right? Is that it? Honestly, Dad, I don't know what that man wants from me. He has been against me, like practically against me, since I got into that school. Now he's trying to use cultism as ad hominem to, uh, for, 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 for a group he never, he never agreed with. Which group? Which group? Did I send you to the school to go start messing up with some useless group? Did I? My love, why don't you verify this word claim? Verify what? The professor, the vice chancellor, cannot trammel up uh, stories about my son, about my child. And this idiot knows that. Now listen. Until he explains to me why he got involved with those animals, I will make things hard and difficult 
for him. What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you show me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like a... What exactly is going on here? Dude, you've got some nerves, you know? Has anyone told you that something good comes out from cultism? I don't understand what you people are talking about. I don't belong to any cult group. Oh, shut up! Just shut up! Shut your mouth! I say he came for me, he loved me well, well, now which can love be this, yo? The love is too much, now which can love be this, yo? You love me, hell, 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 you love me so day, let make me come the wonder. You love me so day, let make me come the thing, when that is love. Where are to follow up. How are you? Hi. 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 Jane, what is going on? Huh? I proposed to you two days ago, and you said nothing. Worst of it all, you've been ignoring my calls since then. Jane, don't tell me it's because of that poor dude. Well, I am sorry about that, Collins. Jane, I came back for you. I told you that already. Why are you pushing me away again? That's because I love him. I love Michael. I can't deny that. Michael? That roadside mechanic? An illiterate that did not go to school? Is this, is this a kind of a juju love or what? Come on, Jane. I know you are bigger than this. What attracted you to to him the first place? Huh? That roadside mechanic has nothing to offer. His prospect for a prosperous living is not looking so good. Can't you see that? Please do not call him names. Don't. Because you know absolutely nothing about him. No. You are the one that do not know a shit about him. I know a whole lot about him. I see something in him that no one else sees. And if there's one thing I'm certain about him, is the fact that I really love him. Get that into your head, Collins. You love me, hallelujah. You love me, Saturday. Let me come to one. You love me, Saturday. Let me come to the people. When that is not the truth. Where I'm not fake. Where I'm not.
Her Majesty. Prince Ekene has been in tears since morning. I want to try finding out what the problem is. He couldn't speak to me. So where is he now? He's in his room. Okay. What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you show me? What is it? What is the problem? Talk to me, what happened? Dad has completely shut me off school. What do you mean by that? Oh, he seized my car. My, 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 my student ID. I'm even told that they that visit that he doesn't want to see me in school again. What? What happened to you? Excuse me. What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost. I don't get it anymore. Your Majesty, we must not allow Ono to give order in this kingdom. In fact, who gave him the right to attend the Royal Father's uh, summit when our king is still alive? Your Majesty, this is a disrespect to the throne. And I suggest that that title should be removed from him immediately. All that is true. Even if the notice of the summit was given to him, he ought to have alerted the king. Exactly. I know the circle of men behind all this, and they will fall. They will. The states gave you the recognition as the Igwe of Umucheke. And whoever is planning something different will definitely fail. Exactly. Thank you, my brothers. Uh, those were actually compliments, and uh, I thank you for coming to me. Hmm? Thank you. I appreciate your coming. I have actually spoken with the Commissioner for Chieftaincy Matters, and he ap apologized profusely. Beyond that, I have given a royal proclamation that whoever steps out of line in future will be disciplined, will be severely sanctioned. Bomb. Okay? So that is no problem. I'm equal to the task. Your Majesty, my problem with you is that you take the issues of this kingdom so lightly, and I don't like it. We chose you as our Igwe because you are a wealthy man who does not earn his living just being the king. Your businesses are spread across the length and breadth of this country, and your staff are feeding from your company. All I am saying is that whoever wants to tamper with royalty, should be decisively dealt with. You took the words out of my mouth. That was more or less what, what I just finished saying. This man here, this Igwe, is equal to the task. This is not a monkey Igwe. Anybody that falls out of line will be whipped in line. Either he's whipped in line, or we throw him out. 
Thank you for coming. I appreciate, I appreciate your coming to let me know. Thank you, thank you. We'll be on our way now. We'll be on our way now. Where is my other? Thank you, my dear. Have a good seat. As beautiful as ever. <laughs> nice to see you. Your Majesty, Ekena is a good boy. I don't know where he assumed this behavior in school. All the same, he's very wrong. But you are not right either. And shutting him out of school. I'm not right. Is all you can say. Anyway, I will do more if I so choose. That boy's attendance in school is of no effect. There is nothing he brings home from school. Absolutely nothing. And I will not continue to keep him there. Your Majesty, please reconsider your decision. I have taken my decision. And it's final. Final. What happened to you? What happened to you, Daddy? What happened to the care that you show me and the love that we share? What happened to you? What? See those portions of land there. I mean, Nobody should tamper with it. Okay. Dad, I was looking for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any problem? Not at all. It's about Kenne. I learned to shut him off school. Yes, I did. And I hope you are not here to begin to talk about my reversing the decision. Because not even your mother could do that. Dad, please. The document I asked you to prepare. Have you done it? Not yet. Good. Go ahead and prepare that document right away. I'm going to need it tomorrow. Well. My prince. Please. Take things easy on yourself, please. The king may resign his decision, but is it true you joined the court? I'm sorry. Greetings, Your Majesty. My Queen, lunch is served. Eunice, I am not in the mood for food right now. I heard he has not eaten. Yes, my queen. He looks to be in so much pain. Oh, my queen. He's crying. Yes. He seems to be regretting his actions. And wants to cut ties with the bad boys. But I've been trying to talk to his father. 
But in his usual way, he wouldn't listen. Like we. Of course you know that there's somebody in this world that could touch his mind. Why don't you use her? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happens to the care that you show me and the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? Greetings, Her Majesty. Would you go to my bedroom upstairs and get me my phone? Someone tell me what's going on. It feels like I am getting drowned. You are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you show me and the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what? Hey, my yellow papa, come here. Come here, they talk to you. Here you they go. The way you command everybody in this palace as if you are the king. You know, no, say that maybe the king for this gate. I be majesty for this gate, so anything where they cross this gate, now my business. Where you they go? The queen sent me on an errand. Eh. Yeah. Okay, what you say you may go do. Am I supposed to tell you? Ah, you know supposed to tell me. You know the yes said I'm be your god majesty for this gate. Eh? Anything where they cross this gate, now my business. They ask me whether I get... Anyway, uh, I won't make you go play bed for me. Which one is better again? Ah, but you bumu. Hey, you don't know what it be bet for this yet age. Hey. Mr. Noito, tell me now. Uh, I go tell you. Mm. I go tell you. See, go Okuka shop. Eh? Tell Ansebeki take this hundred naira to play bet for me. He know the one where they play. But one or more, I don't want Crystal Palace. Because Crystal Palace, they took the loose game. I they would wait self maker worry wolf enter Premier League so that I go feed the win where where those people they they not they lose so make it play better game for me you the yes so forty seven million and I go come from this that our marriage you know so I promise you so I go buy you Porsche eh <laughs> at the Rose Ross where we go to do our wedding now this one take go buy him. go play the game for me so <laughs> why you gotta laugh like this. With this, this hundred naira, huh? you want to get forty-seven million naira. Hey, you don't know what did happen, no? Many people don't win hundred, 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 hundred millions because of just hundred naira where they take play. Oh, and I tell you, even Ogama Majesty self, by the time I win this thing, Namigo can't be proper Ogama Majesty. If to say Ogama Majesty no day house, only me for go go play this thing. My two point five, I for win this thing now now. Go, 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 go play this thing now. Not the waste. You don't want our wedding again. Ah. Uh -huh. I wonder why you men and some women stay at home and expect millions to come. So you want to get some 47 million naira from this. Hey. Good luck. I'm going. Hey. This girl, you mumu. What's that mean? Wait until I open it. <laughs> you won't expect this, I tell you. Ta la la! Yes. Specially made in Kobe. From me to you, my beloved father. Mm. <laughs> you like? Have a taste. Appetizing. <laughs> mm. Do you 
you like it?
Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. I want to see that odious leader of your group. It's alright, Dad. I, I'll try and get in touch with him. Mm. Don't try. Do it. I want to see him today. Fine. Uh, I'll call him. Look at his head. Just like his mother's people. Allow me to be with you. Alice, it's not like his father's people that are very ugly. Rather, from his mother's people that are very cute. Mm. That's awesome. Daddy, why are you eating like that? You don't want to use the cutleries? Capillaries. <laughs> These are what we call global capillaries. <laughs> yes. So I agreed. I've never seen such love that is existing between a father and a daughter, like that of our princess and our king. I mean, how can your wife beg you for something and you refuse? Only to agree immediately your daughter comes into it. But do you know how we almost slept in the hospital? Simply because Princess Jane got sick. See? They have a serious bond. As for me, I think the king doesn't love the wife. Period. Because if he does, he will have listened to her in the first place. No, don't say such. I found out that the queen loves Kenny just as the king loves Jane. He has even warned the mother before me to retrace from pampering Kenny. <laughs> And he is not retracing from loving, pampering his daughter, or does he? Eh? So he's one one. <laughs> Seriously, pampering or not is not a reason for Prince Kenneth to join school courts. I mean, court guys are mean and wicked. We've lost a number of young boys and girls to courtism. Yes, what is the game? He better denounce for me too, because he brings calm to himself. I am sure he will. As soon as the king has warned about that. That's his business. If he could have a kind way to a side, no? And for what? Bargain is it? Was he consigned? They want to have to a side. Leave Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hundred thousand naira. Use it and settle everything you need to settle. Use it and do whatever that needs to be done. I want this boy out of that your secret society. I sent him to school for many reasons. Joining a secret society is not one of the reasons. <sighs> Your Majesty, I've heard what you said. Though the group wouldn't want to lose him because he's an asset. But because of you, I will do just that. If this man is not enough, if you ever think it's not going to be enough, tell me now. Your Majesty, money will never be enough. Money will never be enough. Because of you, it will be 
care of. Alright then. So we take it that this business is concluded. Consider it sealed. Yes. Can you tell me what you did for him? Thank you so much. <sighs> There's no need to thank me. I did what every loving and responsible father should do for a, a son, right? Yes. I, that's what I do for each and every one of you. I want the best for you. And I'll be willing to fight anything that will threaten your future. Um, girl, there is something you're not doing right. What is that, father? Getting involved with premature relationship. Trust me, girl, it's not right for you. I mean, can't you terminate this relationship immediately? No, Father. I mean, why should I? I love Michael so much. Besides, he's not standing in the way of my studies. Well, how are you sure he's not getting in the way of your education? You see, this thing is like a vermin. A virus. It kills gradually. I know, Daddy, but certainly not Michael. I've known him for three years. Three solid years. And I know how positively he has influenced my life. He's also very loving and caring. Mm. Mm. Three long years. You've known him for three years and I'm just getting to know about it today. Oh, come on, Jane. No, I'm sorry, Dad. I was just waiting for the right time to tell you. Jane, there is always a right time to start a relationship. That's a fact of life. Hmm? Mm. <clears throat> well, I'd like to meet him. Invite him to come and see the family tomorrow. Thank you so much, Daddy. I will. Everywhere so dark. Oh. Babe. Baby. this. 
You're romantic. <laughs> Your Majesty. If you ask me, I think the next uh, or four day will be better. Because we have to take our time to inform the Umada about this issue. Mm -hmm. It's just the water. I think it's not necessary to invite the Umada. We are men and we can handle this issue. I don't think there's any need to invite them. Your Majesty, that is my humble opinion. Chief Ilo, it is in line with our tradition to inform the Umwada about this issue. I don't know, except you want to change it. Yes. Greetings, sir. Daddy, this is my boyfriend, Michael. Really? Yes. As a matter of fact, he's my fiance. We just got engaged. You don't say. <laughs> yes, mommy. Wow, that's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you, mommy. Uh, I'll be right back. Huh? Um. Please, uh, make him very comfortable, okay? okay Dad. Then, Daddy, see me upstairs. Okay, Dad. You're welcome. Thank you. What exactly are you talking about, Dad? Now, don't you ever play on my intelligence. Now, tell me you didn't mean it. Engaged? Are you insane, Jane? What exactly is wrong with you? Father, why are you being so furious? It's not like I'm getting married today or tomorrow. I love him. Now, shut up. And don't you dare talk when I'm talking. Now, listen. Listen very attentively. That thing you have on your finger, that stupid thing, that, that rubbish. Take it out now, go down, return it to him, and then end whatever it is you have going with him right now. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Father. I will do no such thing. What did you say? I won't do it. What's wrong with you? Are you, are you out of your mind? But I'm not out of my mind. Uh, I'm not. Please, just calm down. Just calm down. Please calm down. Now, calm down what? Did you listen to your daughter? Did you listen to her? And listen, did you look at your daughter's finger? That rubbish she has on her finger. Did you see it? And she has the effrontery to challenge me here. Father, I am not challenging you. I'm only telling you the fact. I love that man. And yes, you're my father. You don't have any right to tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Honey, please. Calm down. Take this on her. Calm What's down. Wrong? Just calm down. Just, just, just please, please. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> please go downstairs. I think you're guest. I know you do that. I know we'll have some guests downstairs. I think you come down. Let's just go. And do what? And do what? None of the chairs come down. What has she come to do? 
see you removing those that, 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 that rubbish on her finger? Nothing has gone wrong that cannot be fixed at this point. Please take it easy. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. I think you're too hard on her. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? Baby, please, we have to leave now. What's wrong? All is well. Everything is alright, just get up. We'll go now. Jane, what's this all about? You guys just arrived. Yes, bro, I know. I have to talk to you much later about it. Let's go. No. This will not do. She must not leave this compound. Call her back. We need to settle this here and now. My love, not now. Not now, I like you. I can see you're very furious. And I care for the worst. Let her step up for a while. Let her ease the steam. So that you two can calm down. I beg you. That young man must not stay around her. My love, just let me. Allow me to handle this. All right. Ensure she comes back to her senses before nightfall. I'll try. Else, else she will see the ugly side of me. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? You're still not saying anything. Papa, what happened to the Honestly, I do not want to talk about anything now. I don't want to. What happened to you? It seems the news of our engagement didn't go down what well with your father. I honestly don't care because he can't tell me how to live my life. It's my life we're talking about here. What happened to you? What happened to you? You don't have to be worried. I'll sort things out myself. I'll, I'll fix everything. Don't be scared. You are once a loving father. Where is she? 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 Where is your daughter? Where is Jenny? Where? She has not returned yet, and I'm. She has refused to pick up calls. I, I've been calling her. How many times did you call her? How many times now? Okay, call her. Call her. Call her. Call her now. Call her. Yes. No, no, no. She's not picking. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Pick this call. Pick this call. Pick it. Pick it. What's going on? I don't, I don't know. Ask your father. I don't know. Then you will hate me. Then you will hate me. I say you will hate me. Your sister will hate me. Did you hear me? I said your sister will hate me. Listen, listen. Your sister will hate me. Did you hear me? Your sister will hate me. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you?
my offense Asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back Honestly, Mom, I have not seen this side of that before. Dad is getting me scared. Kenne, your father feels betrayed by his beloved daughter. Above everything, I don't blame him the way he just reacted. That is what you get when you're obsessed with someone in love. Of course, nobody should blame Dad. Jane messed up. How could she accept uh, proposals from that guy in this time? What happens to her education? Does marriage stop people from going to school? Eh? If she truly loves this guy and he's capable of taking care of her, why would we stop them from, from getting married? Shut up. Say what you know. Jane is a final medical student. You like supporting Jane in whatever she does. She is wrong this time. Admit it. I didn't see anything wrong in what she has done. Her happiness counts. If she's happy getting married to this man, so be it. Shut up. Just shut up. You are annoying. Protoni, don't shut me up again. Are you talking to me like don't that? Shut enough. Up. Enough. I have enough headache already. Look at the way your father was screaming and yelling on top of his voice at me. You two will start. Don't you dare start now. Please. You are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? Wait a minute Do you mean that good for nothing proposed to Jane and she accepted? Not only did she accept She brought him here and introduced him to our dad And they left here shortly after that since then, we have not even reached our phone. I don't know what Jane sees in that poor guy. That good for nothing. Do you know what he does for a living? He's a roadside mechanic. What? Are you sure of this? I don't tell tales, bro. I know what I'm talking about. That good for nothing can barely feed himself. of no use. So, Mazi, did you see the man that brings a jumbo to show the king? Oh, yes, yes, I see him. I see him. Very fine boy. If you see the boy, <laughs> fine boy. He dashed me 1,000 mm -hmm. Now I want to play my Arsenal at Chelsea. <laughs> I don't win. <laughs> Are you aware your mother does not have a child at all? What do you mean of that nonsense? You mean that you don't have sense? Mua? Yes. I don't get sense? Yes. We are here talking about something important. You are here talking about odds and death. May the gods have mercy on you. Now you go to get mercy on. Now you go to get mercy on. Now be the insult. What is my problem? The princess, he don't choose who he love when one marry. Me self, I choose my 2.5 when I want to win millions. I could not go choose now. What can I with this? Don't worry, oh. This one where they play so. 94 mil. Now I'm going to win. When I win now, man, they could not carry on now. What face near where I did? Particularly you, you where they toss my man, not get picky. God punish you. The only person I could just pity for now, okay. My love. <laughs> when we go marry, eh? American president go come. An American soldier and I go guide us. Don't be on now. The king did not stop her from getting married or making her choice. Rather, he was of the opinion that she must finish her medical education before anyone can come. It's not a bad advice from a father if I must be very open. For once, we now talk like people will get sense. Because Oga Majesty, I don't know what he, he they do. <laughs> the person say he won't marry. The person will he like. He pick it. So when they call concern away, they say, hey, you know, go marry, I know, go marry. Una get sense more for that area. But no, I carry on our whole face from here. Hey, go, 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 go. Come here. No, no, sir, I may be the Oga Majesty forget you. See, uh, you know, see, uh, as I did here, the food one that they give me is too small now. When I go find food from me, you know, see, when I eat well, I would know how to play my 2.5. When I win, I feel change my mind. I feel hey, just... hey, now you come. <laughs> so, when are you going to win the money? This one? Mm -hmm. You go see, I'm now. I go soon go play and come. When I come, I go give you a small thing when I win. 
<laughs> first of all, share the one that the man gave to you now. For what? Ah. First of all, share now. If I give you what I want to play this to you, I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna finish it. Idiot. I won't manage. Just manage you now. This one will be like a gamma lizard. Idiot. Can you tell me that my my mama will not get picky? God punish you. I know if you. Then we can play my look Newcastle. I know they play you. Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool. Collins. Baby. Why did you confront my fiance? Oh. He told you that? Come on, that dude is incredible. Answer my question. Why did you have to confront my fiance? For what reason? Well, uh. I baby okay. Don't touch him. Do not. Okay. I did not beat him. I just had a man-to-man -man chat with him. Come on, it's not a big deal. Okay? Did he actually tell you that? No, he didn't. You know why? Because he's a gentleman. A gentleman that sorts his way out without talking too much. But that doesn't make him too soft as you think. Mm. That sounds impressive. Leave us alone. Leave us be. I mean, what is wrong with you? I've told you times with that number that I am engaged to this man. I love him. He's going to be my husband. Let us be. No. Did you hear what I said? I said no. I will not allow him marry you. I will stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. Did you get it? Yes. I love you. And I cannot stand to contest anyone coming close to you. Not even a nameless thing. Nameless, you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's very, very easy for you to say because you think you have achieved a lot for yourself. You are nobody, Collins. What are you? I mean, what do you think you are outside Senator Ken's dynasty? Absolutely nothing. What pride and prestige have you outside your father's success? Apart from this thing, this thing you call a boutique. What else do you think you have? Hey, 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 I, I am here to warn you for the very last time. Stay away from us. Stay away from my relationship. Stay away from my life. Leave us be for crying out loud. I am taken. Get that into your head. Please. Did you say that to me? Yes. You said that to me, right? 